Hey, what's up, everybody? Good afternoon. Um, Fed meeting today, Fed decision. I haven't spoken much about this because not much really is expected. If you look at that Fed watch tool that the CME has, that shows about a 4% probability of a rate hike at this meeting. So doubtful that anything is going to happen because Yellen and her crew over there they like to listen to the market. They don't understand. They really don't understand that they are the monopolist. They could do whatever they want, but they like to listen to the market. So I doubt anything is going to happen today. However, she will speak as usual after that meeting. And um, she may talk uh, quite a bit about expected fiscal stimulus and perhaps the need for the Fed to you know, counteract that of course, not understanding clearly that the interest rate hikes are another form of fiscal expansion. They're inflationary. They are price setting higher. Therefore, uh, the belief on the part of Yellen and the Fed that they are counteracting any fiscal stimulus is, is clearly wrong. They are adding to it. They are exacerbating it. By the way, on the point of interest income and the rate hikes, two things I want to talk about. Number one, in the fourth quarter GDP report that was released on Friday, we saw uh, personal interest income rise in the fourth quarter at over 16 billion uh, annualized pace. That is, That was the fastest uh, increase or the largest increase, I should say, since the third quarter of 2015. Second point, um, you know, this, this interest, these interest payments, uh, the rate hikes can manifest in the form of um, added bank deposits into the banking system. And here's why. For short term treasury instruments, such as 30 day T-bills, uh, which are affected by these rate increases. Uh, what happens with a T-bill? You buy A T-bill doesn't have a coupon. In other words, there's not an attached interest payment. You buy a T-bill at a discount, and when it matures, you are credited the full face value. So what I have noticed since the, uh, the two Fed rate hikes, the first one being in December 2015, and then the last one we had in December 2016, is that the rate of growth in bank deposits, which had been falling now for about uh, the last uh, f three, four years, I have to go back and check, but it had been decelerating. The rate of growth, not the nominal amount, but the rate of growth in bank deposits had been trending down. That has stopped, and it's starting. To, it looks like it's starting to slowly rise back up. So we see that the rate increase has started to have an effect in the addition, uh, you know, when those things mature, you get more money than initially what you paid for, right? That's how they sell uh, uh, T-bills. So we see it manifest in, in that sense. So um, again, a net addition to income and a net addition to the overall financial net worth of the non-government, all else being equal, obviously. What else? Interesting. You know, you learn a lot of interesting things if you go to my blog, Mike Norman Economics. Uh, one thing that one, a contributor put up there today was the fact, and I did not know this. I, I, I kind of um, thought we were on track to do this, but the United States is now a net exporter of oil to Latin America. For the first time ever, we are running a an oil trade surplus with Latin America. Now, you know, this is interesting. Uh, first, uh, uh, first off, I think because you hear a lot about energy independence, right? Oh, we got to have energy independence. We had, let's drill more, let's drill more. But we're drilling more and we're sending it off to foreigners. So what's all this talk about energy independence with a finite resource like oil? You would think, hey, you know, if you have this stuff, if you're lucky enough to have this as a bounty for your citizens, uh, for the people in your country, if you want energy independence, you save it, right? I mean, oil can't go bad. It can't spoil. You can store it. But no, where, you know, we're drilling more. 
We're taking the risk of harming the environment. We're, uh, uh, you know, employing capital, and I'm not just talking about uh, financial capital, but labor, resources, to extract this finite resource, which we're never going to be independent if you're talking about a finite resource, but we're extracting this finite resource, and then we're turning it around and selling it off to foreigners. So it's, it's kind of ludicrous, it's kind of silly, it's kind of ridiculous, but hey, it's not the first ludicrous and ridiculous and silly policy that we see uh, coming out of government. And by the way, Trump is for this, all right? Um, so this is not, as far as I can see, from my point of view, I don't see how this uh, uh, qualifies as energy independence. When, yeah, okay, you go, you get the stuff, and then you give it away? For what? I mean, what are we trading it for? Um, uh, Argentinian pesos? I have no idea. All right, so um, I, I expect probably the only thing out of this... By the way, I don't, I don't think the stock market's going anywhere. You know, yes, the fiscal flows have, have flipped to positive, and that's good. Uh, however, we still have this uh, slowdown in bank loan growth. So that's a little bit of an offset. We have the unknown factor of what's the fiscal stimulus going to be? We don't know. They haven't said anything. The only thing they have done or the only thing that Trump has done so far is to freeze federal hiring. So we don't know. And then you have all this other stuff like, um, you know, people are worried about the immigration. Bad things are just emotional things, but they're, they're causing people to be jumpy and skittish. Um, so anyway, this afternoon with this Fed meeting, uh, nothing's going to happen. I don't think anything's going to happen, uh, but she's going to talk and she's probably going to talk a little bit hawkish and you get some volatility. And at the end of when everything settles down, we probably won't be any, any more or any much changed from the levels where we are right now. All right, everybody. See you later. Bye bye.